अरे कौन सा कौन सा उसको खड़ा करो
Just miss. Thank 
तो मैं भी छाप रहा हूँ तू मेरे को बोले हाँ रोज अरे साउथ वाला लग रहा है नहीं साउथ का ही है हाँ
Funnily enough, I don't think I should be the one answering that question because I'm in an I show in museums and galleries and my, uh, um, I, my desire is for the works that are made in, as artworks are not in any way digitized because for me a digitization of a, a film made by an artist in an art museum is a facsimile and not the original. And we've talked about this a lot, but in, in the art world, the word, you know, we use the word medium, we use the word medium specificity, which means that if you go and see a painting, it is a painting. It's not a, a digital copy of the painting. And the museum is the place that protects the original object. And, and we, have to protect, we have to apply those rules within um, museology. We have to also tr apply them to um, you know, within cinema, but I'm not the person to answer about streaming, of course, I, you know, it's more for Chris, I think. No, oh, sorry. Say that. Well, for a start, we're going to stop talking about film versus digital. This whole reframing the future of film is to start bringing in film plus digital. We're living in a, 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 a landscape where we can have both. You know, everything is about choice. So it's very strange on this one issue we should be reduced to just one option again. And, and it's all about choice. So um, I don't know if that answers the question because I didn't quite because hear it. But because as an artist you should have the choice to decide the medium you want to shoot on. And that's what the dialogue is all about. That's what we are all looking at. That I should have the choice to preserve the film the way I want to preserve it. And I'm sure if I've made a film, I, I, I don't like to see celluloid, man. I try to push. I remember when it was chosen in Telluroid. And uh, this, uh, we have great friends there. And they said, it's too expensive to ship the print. I said, I'll offer to pay for it. But I'd rather have you watch in the way I've shot the film. And that's what we all aspire to be as great people, is that we want <coughs> the original format in which we have shot the film to be seen in that. Well, I mean, a lot of the point of these events and the point of the, the conversation we had this morning was in dispelling certain myths. Um, really, there's a rise because there's been a very powerful uh, financial imperative for uh, electronics companies and, and technology companies to try and transform the industry. And that's always been the same. There's nothing new there. But what happens as a result is you tend to get accusations to undermine a particular medium, in this case film, 
uh, accusations that it's more expensive or it's prohibitively expensive or it's too difficult or there aren't any projectionists left to project the film prints, these kind of things. Um, we've spent the last few years just patiently explaining that you know, film is here to stay. Um, it's a wonderful medium that we can all enjoy. And we've continued to work in the same way we've been working for, for many years. Um, and as Tasta said, it's really not about film versus digital. Um, it's about preserving this medium for you know, future generations of filmmaking to be able to use it. Um, and so I don't want to repeat any of the misconceptions because <laughs> they, they get propagated. But uh, you know, ultimately, what's been really exciting about the meeting today, a meeting with leading members of, of the Indian film community, is there's a spirit of optimism, there's a spirit of uh, film having uh, a wonderful future and, and great potential. And there's a lot of excitement around it, uh, a lot of excitement from filmmakers and exhibitors and, and everybody else in terms of continuing to give audiences a reason to leave their homes and come together in a movie theater to experience a story. Um, you know, I just want to add that uh, just after the meeting, Two, two DOPs have confirmed and they have said that they're very sure they're going to go. So Deep Chatterjee, who shot Padmavat and who shot all Bansali's films. And you also had Santosh Shivan, who's going to be shooting his next film on film, on cinema. So I think the meeting translated into, uh, even, even someone like Shah Rukh, who was there, he had his own great opinion. And he's been, he's, he's messaged me and he's sort of so excited about the fact that, that this medium is something which he thinks should be there for all of us. And we are all very excited about it. And actually, I just want to say something more about the poetics of the medium. I felt very strongly this morning, it was quite an emotional meeting, yeah. because there was actually around that table a profound understanding of the, the qualities of, and the nature of film, um, which almost every person felt. And, you know, film is a different medium. I could not make my work with digital. and. Um, uh, my, I work with all the, in, you know, what I call the disciplines of film. Um, so, you know, and I'm very, for me, it's about the poetics of the medium. I'm into chemistry and into the light and into the magic and the blindness and all such of this wonderful medium. And it was a very, very strong sense today, uh, I thought, that everyone kind of understood yeah. the, 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 the sort of fundamental differences of this medium. From, from a digital medium. So it's not like we are in any way trying to go back. We're actually trying to go into the future. And my aim, my personal aim, is that I want it to become normal to shoot film. I want it to be normal. I don't want to be, I mean, we both don't want to be doing this in 15 years' time. <laughs> we want it to be normal. We, want, we don't want to have to, resi you know, meet the artists and filmmakers don't want to have this resistance anymore because it's just there and it's fine. Let it just be normal. Yeah. In this discussion that you had at the round table, and there was a copy that we represented the team, what was the most important? Well, at, I mean, very much so, actually. And I don't think we should underestimate the viewer. Because I know from personal experience, people that will cross cities to go and see a film projected as film. I mean, because the experience is different. And I know that's exactly what... I mean, you wonder about the Dunkirk screening. I was just giving that example. 70 mm Dunkirk screening in IMAX Madala and 35 mm Interstellar at Liberty. It took 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, for the tickets to be sold because it was just about 70 mm. People want to experience to see a film the way the creator had created it originally. And I think that's the respect which we must have and we must feel for it. So, yeah, you are. I mean, Chris wants to add to that. It's also a good film. Give me a break. <laughs> 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 no, I think, <laughs> no, I, th I think uh, it's exactly the point, which is uh, I work in, in a field uh, where the audience is constantly being underestimated by people who finance the films and distribute the films, there's often a feeling of nobody cares, nobody knows the difference. And, and actually, when you talk about myths to be dispelled, I think the main myth is when this discussion has arisen in the past about why somebody would choose to shoot film 
even if it seems more difficult than, than shooting digitally, they speak as if filmmaking were a, a logical and a pragmatic yeah. thing to do, and it's not. And no film is logical and pragmatic. Films are about dreams, they're about magic, they're about escapism and, and experience. And so, to a certain extent, you have to embrace your emotional side and your feelings about the medium and whether you want to work that way or, or not work that way. Those things become, become important. And I think we see that just as much from audiences as we do from, from filmmakers. We're constantly in dialogue with audiences. Indeed, we are the audience ourselves. And uh, we forget that at our peril. And, and somewhere I feel uh, not enough choice has been given to the audience too. You know, you know, yeah. they, they don't have, I mean, really, if you really want to see a film on 35 mm or 70 mm, where do you go and see it? And that's what, we, that's what the whole point of the dialogue, that to make that space available to see whether exhibitors can come forward, where they could be. You know, I was just before uh, just uh, got in touch with me, I was in constant dialogue to have 35 mm screening in the preview theater of Liberty as a club where they can experience the 35 mm because we didn't have our own space. Uh, we don't have a museum or a space because we are a very young foundation. And uh, I think this dialogue will help that to, to sort of feature. Even the, even the NCP, where we are going to be talking, they have 35 mm screenings, they have 16 mm not being projected, but they haven't been working. And the inspiration we will get out of this is the fact that you will see them running back soon. So I think the viewers are going to get it. it, it it's going to change. And uh, we hopefully, this dialogue will help us to make it very soon. Thank you. Mr. Kogan, are you aware of the way Well, I think making films is always about facing insurmountable, seemingly insurmountable odds. Anybody who tries out to go out and direct a film um, and has to get a budget, has to get a crew together, has to surmount all kinds of obstacles. And so I'm just trying to position uh, and empower filmmakers to, to view their choice of medium as one of the things that they have to fight for. Uh, and none of these fights are easy, uh, particularly when you're starting out. Uh, but they're all worth fighting for. And they're all part of that tension and that process that filmmakers go through to tell the stories uh, that they want to tell. And I think some of that tension can actually be uh, productive because you're made to think about what's important to you and what you really care about. And what we want to see as film goers on screen are stories and presentations that the people who made them care deeply about. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I think so. I mean, I felt very positive energy in the conversation from, from all aspects, particularly exhibition. Um, obviously, their frustration is that they get pulled in different directions and they're told to go digital because people want that and then it's come back to film because people want that. Um, but I think the, uh, the enthusiasm and the excitement that everyone feels around films in, in this community uh, is vital and is what will allow great things to, to happen in this regard because ultimately it's about getting people together, getting them out of the house and giving them a, a fantastic uh, experience at the movies. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much, everyone.
Global Advertiser for innovative outdoor solutions. Global as a company, it has never compromised on its service quality and commitment. And that is the reason our clients do keep on coming again and again to us for our service. The mission of the company is to rise on the graph of betterment for every campaign handled by us. Global Advertiser for innovative outdoor solutions.